Hey guys, welcome to Smack Talks Money in the Bank 2017 Predictions. Uh, yes, this time is a bit of a special one. There's going to be four predictions, four people predicting. We have me, my co host Jay, we have Yasha, our female co host, and we, we have Jay's mystery brother. Andrew, he's not much of a mystery, he's just, well he is, he's just very mysterious and weird. But let's get on with it guys, I'm super excited because Money in the Bank this year looks like it's going to be an absolutely epic, epic Money in the Bank. So first off, first match on what we got on Wikipedia's because we don't know what the order of the match is going to be, apart from the Hype Bros versus the Colognes. On the pre-show, uh, I've gone for the Hype Brothers. Hype Bros. Andrew has gone for the Hype Bros. Jay has gone for the Hype Bros. And Yasha has gone for the Hype Bros. So it's pretty much everyone's going for the Hype Bros. It, it just looks like with Zack Ryder coming back, they're going to give him the win. They are the faces. Usually the faces get the win when it comes to the pre-show. Next up on our list is Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton. Uh, I have gone for Jinder. Don't hinder the Jinder. I'm still shocked that he won it at the last pay-per-view. So I think they're going to give him that little bit of momentum and let him let him get the win. Um, uh, Andrew has gone for Orton. Jay has gone for Orton. And Yasha has gone for Orton. So I'm the only one risking it with the Jinder. So I'm hoping he, uh, that it goes well for him to tomorrow night. Um, next is the Money in the Bank match where you got Sami Zayn taking on Kevin Owens, taking on Baron Corbin, taking on Dolph Ziggler, taking on Nakamura, taking on AJ Styles. Uh, this one was really difficult because there's a lot of guys who we would love to see as Mr. Money in the Bank. But right now, we, there is, there's two guys who the fans want to see and probably the guy who's going to get. Uh, the company, we, a lot of the talk around the, you know, WWE, you know, the wrestling internet is Baron Corbin's going to win the Money in the Bank. Uh, but I went... I went with Sami Zayn. I went with the fans' opinion. I think Sami's gonna, Sami's gonna win it. I hope he does. I think he needs a push. I think it, it will do him great to be Mr. Money in the Bank. Um, I hope if he does take it, he's gonna cash in and he's gonna actually get the belt because I, it's about time Sami was a WWE World Champion. I think it's his time coming soon. Um, Andrew has gone for AJ, Jay has gone for Owens, and Yasha has gone with Owens. Um, it'd be interesting if Kevin Owens did win it and he is Mr. United that he's the face of America and Mr. Money in the Bank. It would be perfect because he's such that heel where it will be absolutely entertaining to see him with both a United States Championship and the Money in the Bank as well. Um, but yeah, everyone knows Nakamura's not going to win it now because he lifted up the suitcase at the end end of show last uh, last show before the big big pay per view. So it's not it's not going to be in now, is it? Um, next up on our list is the tag team championship match between the Usos and the New Day. Um, we're going. I went for the New Day. Andrew went for. The New Day, uh, Jay went for The New Day, and Yasha went for The New Day. It looks like everyone is wanting the New Jay, the New Jay, the New Day to um, come in and take the belts. I don't blame them. Uh, I, I've actually enjoyed the Usos run as champions. I think they've been quite entertaining, but I think WWE are going to look at money more and go right. Well, these guys sell more merch than these guys, so these guys are going to be our champion. Until, you know, the Usos probably win them back because the Usos and the New Day are the best two tag teams they've probably got 
on SmackDown and they'll probably want to have this really big rivalry between the two because it makes sense and it makes money um, and I would pay to see this a few times. Um, next up is the women's money in the bank match uh, where it's going to be it's going to be Becky Lynch takes on Naomi takes on Tamina takes on Carmella takes on Charlotte uh, this one is a bit of a you don't know who who it could be who 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 um, but I've gone for Becky Lynch Andrew has gone for a bit of a surprise one he's gone for Nikki Bella he's gone for Bella um, because he has a feeling there's going to be a sick woman in the match and he thinks it's going to be Bella and she's going to be a big surprise and she's going to win it um, Jay has gone for Charlotte Flair and Yashra has gone with Becky like I have so hopefully if Becky wins it it could lift her up to being a I reckon if Becky does win it she will turn heel not after before during her time as holding it I think she will turn heel most likely after she's cashed it in or you know maybe during I think she could you know she could turn heel because she might cash in on Naomi and really like lose it going you know what I'm sick and tired of helping everyone I'm sick and tired of being the nice guy and not getting what I want I'm cashing in now I'm sick of always being that person who would defend you when you're being attacked and why should I help and I'd love it if Naomi um, Naomi gets attacked say by you know the welcoming committee Becky and Charlotte comes out Becky being Mrs Money in the Bank and um, you know the welcome committee beats the crap out of all three of them and Becky gets up looks at Naomi and goes you know what why am I doing this cashes in her money in the bank to the referee and becomes the new Smackdown women's champion it would it would make sense it would be in her character like why should I always help everyone because she's been saying it for a while everyone's everyone's a snake everyone always turns against me so I always try and do right, so yeah, I think that would be great. I think that would be amazing. And last but not least, it's the SmackDown women's match between Naomi and Lana. I've gone for Naomi. Andrew's gone for Naomi. Jay's gone for Naomi. And Yasha's gone for Naomi. I think it's Lana's... <laughs> I think she can get some good heel heat coming out of that match, but I think... It's too. It's nowhere they're going to give it to someone who hasn't, who hasn't actually had a match yet. WWE a proper match. Um, I think this was a great opportunity for her. And I, I think this is going to be. I think it's going to be a lot closer than um, people giving this match. I think it's. I think it's going to be a good work. And I think Naomi is one of the best. I don't think. I think Becky is better than her. As a performer, I think Becky and Charlotte are the best two in the performance ways, but I think Naomi is is, is getting there, and I think right now she's doing. I, 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 her run, her second run as champion hasn't been as great. I think it's because Bliss has gone to Raw. Um, I think someone like Becky would be a good heel for her to take on, or you know, or you know, Lana and her have a bit of a rivalry. It could cost could cost La uh, Naomi the belt saying so, yeah, Lana ta joins the welcoming committee they beat the crap out of her and like I said my, my theory of Becky and Charlotte come out they get overrun by the welcoming committee you know four on three and Becky just turns around because why should I do this and cashes in I think that is my big theory I think that is going to be what happens with that one I think Sam is going to win the belt I think he He's the most deserved out of everyone, but everyone's putting Corbin as forever. But I'm gonna put him as that. But yeah, that's that's our predict predictions on Smack Talk. I hope you guys enjoy Money in the Bank tomorrow night. Uh, it'll be one o'clock in the morning for us over here in the UK. Um, so um, I will be 
obviously fast asleep or staying up ridiculously late to watch this but um, enjoy money in the bank if you do like our videos um, um, please like subscribe um, we just want to say a big thank you for everyone who watched our last video um, our extreme rules predictions video it's one of our highest view videos ever and for a very very small channel we know we're the t we're like a tadpole in a in an ocean here on YouTube but we just want to say thank you so much for everyone we every time we looked at it and it was getting a few more views it's not it's not the number of views you get it's it's that people are watching and we do appreciate you guys taking out time and listening to our show and liking our videos it's absolutely fantastic and I ju we just want to say from everyone from team top smack talk um, we appreciate everything you guys have done for you know um, in in our video and we just we can't wait for it we can't wait to do a next video um, soon for you okay well have a great weekend guys enjoy the sun enjoy the week enjoy everything just have a great money in the bank and we will see you soon.